Well, Mayor Mike, welcome back. It is that time again. It is. Already. Amazing how time flies yeah, like that, right? How this, how this and goes. it's like an hour later than it would be because of daylight savings time this past weekend. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's over. It's <laughs> over. So, yeah, we're, we're just all out of sorts here. Yeah. As you, as you, the folks can't tell we are taping this on Halloween. The mayor is dressed up. I am oh, not. yeah. Yes. But, um, you know, <laughs> no, I wear this every day just so people know. Yeah, it's got the name tag on it and everything. Uh, it says, Mayor, we'll get it in the shot there. There we go. All right, now everybody's in on the joke. Oh, Mayor Mike, again, welcome back. Uh, Mayor's Monday here at WSAU, WSAU.com. Everybody's kind of winding down for the year already. You mm-hmm. have a few irons on the fire, but for the most part, Everybody's already looking ahead to the, the holidays that are to come. It's it's getting there, right? So um, all the construction projects are wrapped up uh, for the most part. we got to put a few bows on things. Uh, but the construction projects are wrapped up, which means it's winter season in Wisconsin, the mm-hmm. two seasons we have. Uh, right now we're in the process. Our capital budget has been approved. We are um, in the process of evaluating our operational budget. So uh, everything that we're going to spend for 2020 or anticipate spending is is budgeted, and right now it's before council for consideration or any community member that wants to talk about it. We um, we have been very fortunate uh, in the past couple of years. We've had really good growth, and uh, that growth helps us do more things. Right, the state has imposed um, an expenditure restraint program and levy limits on how much municipalities can increase their spending annually. And it's limited to net new construction. Now we've had years, uh, boy, 2015 I think was like 0.73%. Well, that doesn't give you much wiggle room when the cost of living is, you know, 2.5. So we've had over the years, and well before my time, positions had been cut. Well, the last couple of years that we've been doing this now, we've been doing really well. Last year, we had 3.99% in net new construction, which is fabulous. It's not a record, but it's right up there. Uh, To give you an idea, it it increased the average for the county to about 2%. So it was very, very good. An atypical year, but that is allowing us this year to replace some of those staff positions that have been cut. So we're proposing adding back two additional police officers. One's going to be a drug officer specifically. Um, adding back a firefighter position. The uh, engineering position that had been cut, and we haven't had a city engineer for a couple of years already. Mm-hmm. And uh, a parks technician. And, um, and then we're also increasing salaries a little bit too. So if this budget has, is approved as proposed, every full-time city employee will be making at least $40,000 a year. Um, so that's pretty significant because the, nothing's getting cheaper, right? Raising oh, a family, yeah. houses, all of these things cost money. And we want to be able to pay our employees, who are very dedicated, by the way, we want to be able to pay them a comparable wage to what they'd be making out in uh, the non-government world. The real world. The real world, I guess, is a way to put it. Yeah. But yeah, we're, we're, we're real world, too. Right. Um, so that's about it. There's nothing earth shattering. We allowed each department to increase their operational budget other than the positions and salaries uh, by 1%. So a very nominal increase there. Uh, but that allows us then to put those positions back. Yeah. And especially when you're talking about the positions like, you know, police and, and mm-hmm. fire department, because those are two very specific specialized skill sets. They're jobs that are very important, of course, to public safety. So mm-hmm. if you're going to be bringing those people into the community, you've got to make sure that you give them incentive to stay as well. Right. And the easiest way to do that, besides a good work environment, mm-hmm. is to pay them what they're worth. On the yeah, most pe- most people think that's probably the, the, the biggest thing, right? Pay mm-hmm. them what, what it's supposed to be paid, right? What they're mm-hmm. worth. Um, a good work environment, I would say, comes second. Nobody takes a $3 or $10 an hour job for a good work environment. No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't remember the last time I did that. So, yeah. yeah. So uh, so we have a, a, a comment period now. We're hoping to have the budget approved in November, give us enough, t- enough time to get the tax bills out and have everybody get a nice Christmas present uh, right before the holiday season with taxes. Now I can tell people the, that the city of Stevens Point and the Stevens Point Area School District, count on your taxes going up because the school board referendum or the school district referendum that was passed last year will actually be on this year's tax bill. And the city is also looking at an increase of about 30 cents per thousand dollars worth of value. Um, and that's going to allow us to get those extra positions back. 
So if anybody has questions, contact my office, contact the treasurer's office, contact your older person, or contact you over at WSAU. We've got all the <laughs> answers right there as well. I mean, we've got the spreadsheet right there by the phone. There so you go. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, no problems. We uh, we can certainly. Um, you know, say that taxes, obviously, it's very rare that they do go down. But $0.30, cents, uh, as you mentioned, per $1,000, is that average for the city um, for the last few years? That's we, We've been keeping it relatively stable. Um, now, I can give you the averages uh, or, or the actuals from previous years, but we're right in that range. As long as we can stay below that $10 per $1,000, um, I think we're doing very good. We are very diligent stewards with the money. Not everybody is going to agree with everything we spend money on. Um, I don't use the skate park, but I support it because mm -hmm. other people do use it. Um, so just, just be patient and understand that we're a community of nearly 27,000 people, and we all have some different likes and dislikes. You may think that we, our money is better spent here. Someone else might think it's better spent there. Uh, but we have a, a group of... You know, 20 people, 25 people, including staff and alders, and all of them take input from citizens. Citizens are allowed to show up. We take all of that information and we try and formulate a budget to do the best we can with the resources we have. And as far as the timeline goes for the budget right now, what, uh, where are we looking at uh, having that uh, approved by? In Probably the third Monday in November is what we'd be looking at, our regular council meeting in November, um, to have that approved. That gives us enough time to get those tax bills printed, processed, and mailed out. Absolutely. Well, we will look forward to that. And again, uh, hopefully for, for most in the city, that the that bill is going to be good news when it shows up. in. It's, it's going to go up, January, right? Uh, because December. I pay school taxes too. Um, and I uh, don't have any kids in the public school system. But those are the people that are going to take care of all of us in a few years. So I want to make sure they're well-educated and they have the resources they need. So I'm okay with paying a little bit more to make sure that they have a good learning environment and good teachers. Absolutely, that's that's what we're that's what we're in this business for, right? right? To make sure that uh, we take care of those around us in the next generation. Right. Well, look, taking a look at you know again down the road, we mentioned the holiday se uh, season coming mm -hmm. up. That means Stevens Point Holiday Parade WSAU will be in it oh, this nice. year again, as always. I mean, I I had the chance to drive in the. Uh, Fourth of July parade. I don't know if I'll be down here for the okay. uh, for the Christmas or holiday one, but uh, give us an idea of when folks can expect that uh, to line the streets with their hot cocoa and their stocking hats. So um, that is going to be the Saturday. Or I'm sorry, the Friday. Uh, I always remember it as the Friday before Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. uh, and it's. I know it's late this year. I think it's like the twenty twenty first, maybe. That's um, what my calendar is showing. Yeah, thereabout. it's the Friday before Thanksgiving. And uh, it'll be right down here, downtown Main Street. Um, I will be there, and I will light the Christmas tree with my magic wand like I have done every year. And uh, there's, I know there's lots of floats in there. Now, the businesses downtown put the parade on, so it's not a city function, but we do participate. And we'll have Christmas music, and I think we may even have a, a street dedication where we're going to turn Main Street into some sort of festive street for the holiday season to, to try and uh, let people know that we are here and open for business and there'll be all sorts of cool things to do at downtown Stevens Point when that happens. Um, I know we'll have the emergency vehicles and so forth in there. They're working on a grand marshal. I don't know who that's going to be yet so we'll have to keep that a surprise for now and uh, I would encourage people to come out you know have, grab some candy and uh, grab yourself a cup of hot chocolate or, or something after uh, after the parade at one of our downtown businesses. Yeah, it's, I'm actually showing the 22nd on the 22nd. Friday before Thanksgiving all right. uh, this year but it's always, you know, a kind of a, a great time. You talk about communities like this. You know, we talk about all those. You know, we just talked mm -hmm. about the, the taxes and the boring things like that. But if you don't come together and do things like this in your community as well, you're certainly not going to, you know, be attracting talent and all those yeah. things that we talk about. Well, that's a big thing. But we, we don't do it necessarily for that. We do it because of the camaraderie that this community feels. And uh, I think we, that catches on to other people who see that and say, hey, I want to be part of that. Um, so it's really good, um, and this is just who we are. So come on down, and uh, I think, now I can't make any promises, but I've got a connection with Santa and Mrs. Claus. Now I talked to Mrs. Claus, Santa's a little busy right now, but I think they're going to make an appearance. So bring the kids down, and maybe they'll get to see uh, and get their picture taken with Santa and Mrs. Claus. You've got it. You've tentatively booked him. I've, I've got a, well, I, I got Mrs. Santa Claus is okay. Okay. 
Yeah, he's busy, but uh, you know we know who runs the North Pole. Well, of course, I, I would say I would say you've gotten the okay. Yeah, I think I think we're pretty from, good from Mrs. Claus, but we'll certainly look forward you know, to. Pro that. Provided there's no Elf Union labor disputes, I think we're gonna we're gonna be in for a very good <laughs> Christmas. I I got a feeling that they've got that taken care of already. I yeah, mean, Santa cracks the whip pretty yeah, good. I think. I think he does as well. So. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we will. That will come through, and we will certainly will see uh, Santa and Mrs. Claus at the parade, at, as well, in, uh, coming up right at the end of the month. Uh, anything else that we should know about what's uh, what's going on here in Point for the next few weeks as you prepare for the for the holidays? Uh, you know, just trying to get everything squared away for the end of the year, wrapping up those projects, getting prepared to bid the projects for 2020. Um, we have, as most people probably remember. Uh, taking a stronger initiative on rebuilding our roads. So we're trying to replace uh, a road in the city every 90 years. Right now, it's, we have to do about a little over a mile and a half every single year to, um, to maintain that stuff. Mm -hmm. And about half of our roads are less than, we have what's called a PASER rating. Mm -hmm. um, and it goes from 1 to 10. 10 being a brand new road and 1 being... Uh, probably better off a dirt road mm -hmm. in the worst condition. Well, almost half of our roads are under five, I, or five or under, I should say, five or under. Um, so we have a lot of catching up to do. So we're bidding out those projects in the winter to get them rolling in spring. And of course, as you know, we're gonna have an update at the uh, regarding the Fox Theater tonight. Uh, Create mm -hmm. Portage County is the uh, proprietor, I guess, is if you wanna call it that. They, they do business under Fox on Main LLC. Uh, but they have decided to abandon the plans for trying to save the facade and just go ahead and raise the building. I'm hoping to give council an update on that tonight and maybe uh, I've been work staff in general has been working their butts off this past week um, to try and find a way to make something happen where we can keep that historic facade but still use the space in a functional, realistic way. Um, and I just don't know where that's going to go yet, but we'll have an update on council tonight. Yeah, I know the, the original plans were for a, a type of business incubator, mm -hmm. co-working space. I know you were very excited about that. I, I still am. And uh, is, is any indication at all that that's still going to happen? Well, I think the Idea Center is going to have to be built somewhere, whether it's on the site of the Fox Theater, uh, utilizing the facade or not, or maybe a different location downtown. Uh, remains to be seen. But we will give council an update on that tonight because I just don't have the answers yet. All right. Well, we, we will look forward to seeing what uh, comes of that this evening then. As always, right. appreciate the time and uh, we'll look forward to chatting again uh, next month to, uh, to close yeah. out the year. We'll see you right before Thanksgiving, I assume, right? Absolutely. All right. See ya. <laughs>